Welcome back. You're still watching your story on the SABC News Channel. One of our top stories, of course, today was uh, the passing of Gavin Watson in a, a car crash uh, near Oatamba International Airport this morning. And a tribute that the uh, reaction has been coming in through the course of the day. A short while ago, the ANC released a statement uh, remembering his uh, contribution during the struggle. Well, for more reaction from uh, other voices on the death of Watson, I'm now joined on the line by Soleil Malazzi, who's the DA's national spokesperson. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, welcome to the program. Uh, your thoughts as a party on hearing the news of this uh, tragic uh, passing? Um, thanks for the opportunity, Peter. Look, from a human angle, I think it is correct to start with extending condolences to um, his family and friends and everyone who um, loved Mr. Watson so dearly. Um, as you know, we have issued a statement um, today noting the passing um, of Mr. Watson, but we've also called for the police to institute a thorough investigation of the events leading up to the incident that resulted in Gavin Watson's loss of life because it is important, as the country is well aware, that Bosasa, the company that Mr. Watson was CEO, is currently at the center of massive allegations of corruption at the state capture inquiry, an incident like this that resulted in the loss of his life in the midst of that inquiry can raise source of fears to those other individuals who are yet to testify at, at the commission. So that investigation by the police is essential so that those individuals who are yet to appear so can do so without any fear as a result of incidents like what happened today. So you think that uh, the Commission of Inquiry might be impacted then? Um, it, is, it is our view that it may be impacted because Mr. Watson would have been one of the people that would need to testify at the, uh, at the um, Commission, be that as it may. The fact that he is not um, alive anymore or could also open the door for some opportunistic blame shifting that might occur going forward. Do you suspect that uh, there could have been foul play in this uh, 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 crash? Look, as mysterious as the circumstances leading to his loss of life are, it would be highly irresponsible to speculate on what could have uh, led to the cause of the loss of his life. And that is why for us it's very, very critical that law enforcement authorities bring the country into, his confidence, into their confidence by establishing the exact cause of the lost peace life. All right. Um, uh, um, we're going to leave it there, but thanks very much indeed uh, for uh, coming on the line and sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, that was uh, Soli Malansi, the uh, spokesperson for the Democratic Alliance, speaking about uh, Gavin Watson, who uh, died in a car crash this morning. And uh, he's saying that uh, this should be properly investigated because uh, uh, the impact of uh, losing people such as this uh, could have far-reaching consequences. And just to tell you that uh, uh, he was supposed to testify at a, a tax matter tomorrow with SARS. Uh, they were investigating uh, his compliance. Uh, and this was following uh, the allegations that came through the uh, State Capture Commission. So a lot of processes now with his uh, passing uh, being uh, perhaps uh, compromised as a result.